Have you heard the story of the ancient warriors of Erangel? Well, my young friends, stay a while and listen to my tale. Long ago, Erangel was known as the Dragon's Isle. Warriors from across the land set out to slay the terrible beast and claim his sparkling hoard. With his dying breath, the dragon cursed his treasure to incite powerful greed among those seeking to claim it. The spell's power set adventurers against each other, fighting viciously until one group remained to claim their share of the riches. Due to the dangers, warriors dared not journey there alone and instead formed adventuring parties of extraordinary power to clash on the Dragon's Isle. Adventurers from every background sought to join the fight, including fierce barbarians, powerful wizards, cunning rangers, and righteous paladins who all wielded powerful enchanted jewelry to increase their power. These parties battled relentlessly until one group stood victorious. Barbarians were bloodthirsty, savage fighters who specialized in close quarters combat, swinging their terrifying swords wide to deal vicious blows in front of them. By channeling their rage, the barbarian could increase their speed and agility to press the attack, fighting through the pain and using that anger to frenzy their attacks. Their lust for battle fueled their power, increasing their speed and health with each successful attack while their love of drink reinvigorated them and kept them in the fight. Through the power of their enchanted accessories, their health and speed grew, as did their battle frenzy with each swing, and the rate at which they could benefit from their drinks. Rangers, on the other hand, preferred to keep their enemies further away, utilizing their highly accurate Dragon Slayer crossbow to fire a deadly barrage of bolts towards their enemy across great distances. Rangers relied on their stealth to reposition silently and catch their foes unawares. Cunning utilitarians, rangers also employed flash powder bombs to disorient targets upon impact, reducing the close-range damage their allies took while giving them the upper hand. Ranger accessories also held great power, increasing their health, reload speed, ammunition, and flash bombs making them even more deadly as they moved through the shadows. Powerful wizards soon brought their knowledge of the arcane to the battleground, unleashing awesome magical blasts that would engulf multiple enemies in fiery explosions. While their twisted wands fired consecutive blasts, the wizard also had powerful spell scrolls at their disposal, allowing them to channel their signature fireballs to scorch the earth and set foes ablaze, or pummel them with a fiery meteor shower in a marked area. Through their enchanted accessories, they could utilize their wands and cast spells more frequently. And while still frail, they would also benefit from additional vitality. Righteous warriors of light, the paladin would suffer no evil befalling their allies. With mending star in hand and shield at the ready, paladins would relentlessly protect their allies, offering stout defense and magical healing. A swing from their divine weapon could mend the wounds of allies while they used their legendary Aegis to block incoming projectiles and bash enemies away. A student of medicine as well, the paladin supplied their allies with first aid while also tossing powerful healing bombs onto the battleground to heal adventurers over time, though such a tool could not discern friend from foe. A paladin's accessories greatly increased their health and protected them from incoming damage. They also increased the frequency in which they could produce first aid kits and healing bombs, while giving the paladin the extra speed required to protect their allies wherever needed. Each of these powerful classes of adventurer had the ability to empower their weapons and accessories up to five levels through enchantment. To harness this power, they had to collect special crystals that only formed in the dragon's domain. Finding the right type of crystal to match the spirit of each warrior was not always easy, but the increased power received was well worth the search. Adventurers would also have to find the fabled Zircon in order for their equipment to reach its maximum potential. As powerful as they were, one does not simply walk into the dragon's domain. For such travels, the noble steed and mysterious dragon wagon were utilized, and while they were not as fast or durable as similar methods of travel used today, they helped the adventurers stay ahead of the death fog that closed them together to instigate their war, and which grew increasingly potent as the battle drew to a close. Well, my young friend, 
Do you think you have what it takes to face off against such warriors? Lucky for you, the magic required to travel back there still exists. But time is running out. Gather your party and ready your resolve, because this is Fantasy Battle Royale!